on this video. It have the location, Columbus, Ohio. But little did Styles know that would be the last picture he get to post to his. Wait, so he died family. in Columbus? Family, this is Hassan Muhammad. He's. Yeah. YouTube, welcome back to another video, man. And we got a sad story today, man. A Florida rapper killed for refusing to surrender his jewelry during a robbery. This is one thing I want to say before we even get into it, man. I know this sound gonna sound so cliche, man, but don't lose your life over something that's replaceable, you know? And as a man, you know, I already know like how a lot of people feel like as a man, you don't want nobody to take nothing from you and you going you know, but you know, you can always spend back. You can always take your ill and, and, and bounce back and, and do them bad. You know, go back and do them bad. You know, you know, like, it's that's always an option. But don't lose your life right then and there for it, you know. Let them have it, you know. Let them, you know, let them think they get in the way. And then you bounce back and do what you're going to do, but. I don't never want to see nobody lose their life for Family feels not the replaceable. Sound like baby shark. Hold on, cause that shit gone down that copyright. Well, he made that song. I mean, no. I heard that song Nowadays, before. Nowadays, it's just the basic: kill this, kill that, do this, do that, and a lot of people can't really relate to that, cause not everybody really, you know. Right has that lifestyle a lot of people talk about drugs and smoking and don't do it how do you, you know? feel about rappers that passed away that nobody knew about but then they became famous out there it it's uh, it's life uh, it's just people just don't give a fuck until it's too late to and he don't even sound like the type the per a person that's like in the streets he just made a good point like everybody don't and everybody don't do killing everybody don't do Drugs, everybody don't. A lot more people do drugs than kill, but it's a small percent of people that's actually out here doing the killing. You know, like it's 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 a small percent. Everybody not doing it, but everybody talking about it. So that was a good point. I respect it, that. I don't think that's just necessarily. It takes a rapper to die for people to give a fuck because it, I feel like that can happen with with anybody. I feel like if someone was at my school, if I was in school and sold like a certain type of chip and died now everybody wants to keep eating that chip oh i've been eating these chips it's just people when you understand people are all low-key the same you know it's just expected do you think that if you pass away your name will get even bigger that's that's a My real Keyshawn, real eerie question for about eight months now my you know, on the situation. And we are following breaking news this morning. One person is dead after a fatal shooting in the Victorian Village area. The victim was pronounced dead this morning just after 5 o'clock near the intersection of West 3rd and Neal Avenues. There is no suspect information at this time. Sometimes pride get the best of us. If only we could put that pride to the side, we probably could make better decisions. And then we go to jury. Definitely. Weighing jury. The cost of jury. It's a perception, right? But what about the artists who don't wear who let their work speak for themselves, like J. Cole or even Damani, Tiasa? Some might look at them as smart. Some might look at them a little funny. But should it matter what somebody else say? Even better, is jury worth your life? Let alone is the jury real or fake? When like it or not, nine times out of ten, that jury fake. But that's where we at today. A man right. who went to another city and decided not to give his jury up so his peers could say he stood on ten. Oh wow, he not here today. Today we try to learn from this story while paying our respect. Then it's like if you die for it, they gonna still take the jury. So it's like it's a lose lose situation, you know. You gonna lose your life and your jury, you know. And he made a good point. Like a lot of the jury that's out here now is fake as hell, man. And even if it is real, you getting ripped off, you know. Like damn, it's not worth nothing. Like that's why I always been the type of person that like. Jury don't really entice me no more. I ain't gonna lie. The more I grow up and stuff, like I used to want like just a gold chain and a little pen. I want my pants to have a little damage on it, but like nah, I really don't even want that, you know, because it's just it just caused bad energy to come your way. You feel me? Although I might still get a little pen and get a little chain or something, but it's not gonna be nothing too flashy or nothing like that. It's gonna be something simple. To this young man and his family. We go over the details and see where we stand here today. 
But before we go over this one, I want you guys to remember, I don't give you no way. I just give you the story. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We'll jump right to it. From Tallahassee, Florida, family meet Michael Robinson, known professionally as Raylan Styles. Only 22 years old, Styles made headlines in 2019 for his flip remix to quote Baby Shark theme song. The video gained over 1 million views on YouTube and became a social media sensation. Do -do, do -do, baby. Chopper sound like Baby Shark cause it go do do do. Got no style sign yeah, I heard public that. records in 2023. He confirmed his deal in a YouTube vlog and an interview with Music Exclusives TV. Check out a clip. At you. Are there any artists currently on Republic that you kind of respect and look up to? Drake. Of course. Like what the right. f <laughs> like that's crazy. I I, I really I really Flurray. Okay. Heavy. I, She's doing her thing right I now. I listen to her the most out of probably everyone on that roster mm -hmm. besides Drake. So it, they they have Koi, mm -hmm. they have Drake, obviously of Taylor Swift, Nicki Minaj, no, Nicki was, Minaj, whoa, right. Lil Wayne. I ain't yeah, that's a major label. I ain't know that. I never even heard wait, I heard of that record before, but I know they had Drake, Taylor Swift, Koi Ray. Well, I ain't trying to be this bad for Quillery, but that don't really matter. But Drake and Taylor Swift, like, that's two, them two big, big, big artists, like, mm -hmm. as big as you can get. Jonas Brothers. All the greats. They have Liam Payne, too. Okay. Liam Payne from 1D. Damn. Gotcha. Damn. Um, and then Liam just died, too. Liam died. He fell off the balcony up in um, Argentina or some some country down that way. But, yeah, that, shit that, crazy. A lot of people. Right. Lately, he's also been known for doing freestyles in the car with his brother, the official little goat. But later had something to say about his demise. This looks familiar. I don't know if I've seen any of these before. I have, but I remember his face. Now Styles have just over 700,000 followers on Instagram. One picture is public that was released 48 hours ago of me doing this video. It had the location, Columbus, Ohio. But little did Styles know that would be the last picture he get to post to his Wait, so he died family. in Columbus? Family, this is Hassan Muhammad. He's 24 years old. He's from Columbus, Ohio. His first charge came back when he was 18 years old. A friend. If, they, if that's the dude that, hold on. If that's the dude that killed him, it's always some dirty ass nigga, bro. I mean, of course, that's the only people that's going to be stealing, but it's always so. I don't know, bro. Like, it'd be Love weird, so bro. His first charge came back when he was 18 years old. A friend allegedly told police that he was the guy that hopped out on some guys who allegedly owed him money and let off some shacks. According to his indictment, this incident happened on March 27th, 2018. John and another individual confronted two individuals they believe owed them money. Once they encountered the two individuals, the passenger in John's car got out. He produced a weapon and fired at the two individuals. Neither were struck. John and the other guy drove off. John was later arrested and spoke to the police. He implicated that a Hassan Muhammad as the other individual who he was in the car with. Damn, the dude, police arrested him. a man they thought was Hassan in Columbus, Ohio. But John and his girlfriend came to the police station to tell the police they had arrested the wrong person. They implicated the Hassan as the person who was with John that evening. A search began to find so they, they, they doubled down on the telling. I'm, I mean... That's what I'm saying. You got to watch you do stuff with because, man, everybody not like that, bro. Everybody not trying to go to jail, you know? Everybody not trying to do that. So you doing stuff with the wrong people, not knowing their background. Even if you do know their background, man, anybody, let me tell y'all something. When you get in, like, I ain't going to say when you, but when the motherfucker get in that room and they get to, it's cold, they only got that hard ass chair to sit on. They waiting for hours to get talked to by a detective. They thinking. And they ask gonna tell now since I attend. Like, don't think everybody's solid, bro. It's only a few that's solid, bro, and everybody not solid, man. On well, April 19, 2018, 18-year-old 18 Hassan was indicted for two counts of attempt murder and two counts of felonious assault. A warrant was issued for his arrest. Hassan was in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 
and was arrested by local police. The judge set his bond at $1 million with no 10% on July 26, 2019, as he entered a not guilty plea on August 14, 2019, and trial was set for September 30th, 2019. But here's the thing, fam. The only evidence that the state of Ohio possessed against Muhammad was the statement of the co-defendant implicating him. The two victims did not identify him, and there was no forensics evidence linking him so to he the beat crime. It. He beat the it. statement implicating Muhammad was given after the police had pressured him to give the name of the person he was with. Muhammad denies these charges against him. And not only that, he has an affidavit. The incident happened on March 27, 2018, as we mentioned. He claims he was not in the state of Ohio, having moved to Pittsburgh to live with his brother. An individual named Ken Turner had testified that Muhammad took him to work and picked him up the next day. In January of 2020, almost two years later, Muhammad was let go. But then just four years later, in 2024, now 24 years old, Muhammad would be accused of trying to take a robber that wasn't from his hometown chain and after resisting, letting off shots before taking his life. Police yeah. had made it to the 300 block of West 3rd Avenue for an unknown report call. A person had flagged him down seeking help from a man who had been shot. Police had located Styles, the rapper. They began performing life-saving measures. Sadly, the 22-year-old didn't make it. May he rest in peace and love and condolences to his family. The local police would later make an arrest. Hassan would get arrested the same way four years later getting told on by his homies a man is dead yeah, stop trusting people man you see what trust people get you man they get you locked up man niggas telling bro that's why i'm saying the streets dead bro if anybody watching this and you call yourself being in the streets bro find another route man if you if you don't got to get in the streets don't do it man what i mean by that is like if you ain't lose nobody to the streets don't get in it. It ain't no other reason you should be in the streets, man. A lot of these people had... If if you had a decent childhood and your parents did what they had to do for you and stuff and you were just chasing it and want to be in the streets, bro, you a dumbass, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, I I ain't... Like, I, I, I was in the streets when I was a minor, bro. Like, when I was a minor. And I, I ain't even gonna say I was, like, deep, deep in the streets like that. I was... Doing little kid shit, you know, like, you know, just little kid shit, toting guns, and I ain't gonna get too much in detail, but it wasn't nothing too, too, too serious, you know. But everybody got an option, cause I had the option, and if you know me, you know, like I came from the bottom of the barrel, you know, and I worked and built something for myself, you know, and and it, it's working out. It's still in the works, but it's working out, you know, you know, with no help, you know, so. Everybody can do it. It's all about if you want to do it or not. And, and another is behind bars after a shooting early this morning in Victorian Village. It happened just before 5 at the home at the corner of Neal and 3rd Avenues. It's usually a quiet part of the city. Thanks for joining us tonight at 730. I'm Colin Dorsey. Police say 24-year-old Mahmoud Hassan shot and killed 22-year-old Michael Robinson. 10 TV's Carla Rogner spoke with neighbors in Victorian Village. She joins us live now with more. Carla. Yeah, Colin, police say the victim was found in this home behind me. We talked to several neighbors here who say they didn't even hear anything until they woke up this morning and found police in their neighborhood. They told me that it's unnerving to have this kind of violence happen so close to home. Police were called to that home on West 3rd Avenue just before 5 o'clock this morning. Officers found Robinson suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. He was pronounced dead minutes later. Witnesses were able to share information about a suspect with police, and shortly after, officers found Muhammad Hassan several blocks away. We still don't know the motive for the shooting or the incidents that led up to it. Alex Gunder just moved to the neighborhood in July and says he likes it here and feels safe. Well, I actually just moved to this neighborhood this summer, like in July, so I'm fairly new to the neighborhood. Um, I haven't, I've really... You safe, man. You safe. It's just, you know, when certain, when certain people come around, I'm not saying, no, it's not a race thing at all, you feel me, but when when people when certain people that come from different walks of life come around, it can it can happen anywhere, you know. So of course it's gonna affect how they feel, definitely. But um, y'all safe. Ain't nobody finna kill you, man.
really liked it. It's been like peaceful and easy to get around and walkable, which I like. Um, so I was, yeah, really surprised to hear that there's a shooting in this area last night. How does that make you feel? Um, a little less safe than before. Yeah, it's, I mean, you hear about right the violence all the time, right but it doesn't usually hit this close to home. The suspect, Mahmoud Hassan, is expected to be arraigned Monday morning. Reporting live from Victorian Village, Carla Rogner, 10 TV News. Styles' brother had went to Instagram and said the following. Not my little brother, man. I'm still waiting for you to call me and tell me this whole thing is a joke. My heart is effing broken. I will never be the same. We went from rapping at lunch tables together in middle school to becoming superstars. We slept on the floor together. We ate together. We fought together. We signed our first deal together. I love you, bro. And as long as I'm alive, you'll never die. Watch over me. Rest in peace to my little brother. Save me a spot up there, my heart. I feel like we really all are educated. A man with a $60,000 chain not going to be in no park by himself or lounging in another manhood. So essentially, he possibly, allegedly lost his life for some fake jury. And then this man at 24 years old, after getting another chance at life, after being told on just five years prior, he possibly about to spend the rest of his life in jail for taking the man life over a fake chain. Man, this is real life. These people playing GTA. It's a very unfortunate situation. Fam, talk to me in the comments. This was the story of a Florida rapper who was gunned down in Ohio after, quote unquote, not wanting to give up his chain. Yeah, that's crazy, man. I ain't gonna lie. That's super crazy, man. Like, it, it, it's it's a cold world out here, man. And, and you gotta you gotta keep something on you, man. You gotta keep if it. That's another thing. If you not no felon, go get you a gun. Go get go get it the right way too. Go get you a gun. And even if you is a felon, you know, get you a gun, man. You feel me? Just don't be in the way, man. You you, you can have. Just don't be in the way, man. See, I'm not a felon, so I can I I can get I can get my guns legally, you know. But everybody ain't got the opportunity to do that because I know everybody, you know, been through been through stuff and they probably got a felony on their record. But regardless of what you can do and can't do legally, man, you got one life, and if somebody take it, it's over with, man. So you gotta protect yourself, man, and. You can survive without a gun, let me tell you, look. Just don't surround yourself around broke motherfuckers and always be around people that got something to lose, you feel me? On bro, on bro, man, like, doing that would, would protect you more even if you had the biggest gun of, the, 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 of, of fully anything, like, just picking your crowd right and being around the right circle of people. That'll protect you more than any type of weapon. For like, I'm not just saying it, it's it's true. You feel me? But y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. It's a fucked up story, man. I don't want nobody. I don't want to see nobody else down for nothing that's replaceable. It's, it, it's just wicked, you know. But y'all like, comment, subscribe. Fuck with everything in the description, man. And we gone, gang. Gang.